Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Everyone, guess where we are. Actually, you don't even need to guess because it says it in my title. But we're in Luxembourg, Luxembourg City, that is. We are spending the day here. We are very excited to explore this new city and this new country. First off, we're going to the old quarter, which is straight that way. First impressions of the city, it's kind of giving like New York buildings. Let's go see the real architecture, or rather, the architecture that it is known for. Every country we visit, we must check out the McDonald's menu, so let's see if there are any Luxembourg staples. Ladies first. Oh, they also have the spicy guacamole here. Hamburger Royal, so that's different. The McChicken is like in a oval bun rather than like a circular bun. McNuggets that are plant-based. No ice cream is available, guys. Ooh, hot strawberry cream cheese pie. That is a new one. It's enough for the menu. I hope you enjoyed. Let's actually go and explore the real sites. Basically, Luxembourg is built on a hill. Part of it is the fortified city, so there's like the medieval wall behind, and so half of it is like below, and then half of it is above. And we're trying to go uphill. The sun has come out strong. It is now like 10, 10.30 probably, and they are all doing like construction things all around the city. I guess this is what happens during this time of day, but we're continuing upwards, and we got a long elevation, a long walk ahead, so. Um, hydration. Hydration. I'm also wearing a backpack because I'm going home after this trip and so we are really carrying the weight as we walk up. We are now walking along the fortified city. Below is that classic view of Luxembourg and a bunch of the old town and more of that wall. These views are absolutely immaculate. Let's go and look. The whole city was one built in like the forest so they've just like preserved a lot of the greenery and I think it's just so nicely set up along the river it's like just so aesthetic kind of a semi-circle it's crazy to see the view from above everything is super tiny but that is where we started from we climbed all the way up here there is still much more to go so I think we're just gonna keep on walking around and then visit some more sites but this is the iconic view of Luxembourg Luxembourg itself Now we are in the Ba Casements, which is basically the fortress of the city. It's a bunch of underground tunnels and like facilities that they use within the fortress to protect it. So we're just exploring the facility. It is so dark and cool. The natural AC is really showing here. And yeah, we're just gonna see how they use the fortress and how it evolved over the time. Learn about the history. I don't really know what to say other than it's naturally air conditioned. This is what they mean by a casement. This is a cannon, and it's a perfect place to fire straight out back in the day. And Sherry here is exploring the cannon and seeing how it is. It's actually quite small. We have some thoughts and opinions. For starters, it was $6.50 for students, so it's not that bad, but I do not think it was worth the price. It was very extensive and there's a lot of underground tunnels and everything. However, there were no signs, so literally all the info we have is on this brochure pamphlet thing. So all in all, we were very confused as to what the rooms were. How would you rate it? 
two. Two out of 10. I would give it like a three and a half out of 10. They could have done a better execution, but maybe the whole point is for you to be left dazed and confused. It has a lot of meaning. It was also used as a bomb shelter. So that's a really cool part. And during World War II as well. I think the representation is what threw me off. So yeah, that concludes our rating. Now we want to eat our food. We packed sandwiches, of course, but we do want to also try some traditional Luxembourg food, such as the pretzel. I think it's called a brexel. And then potato pancakes, which I'll insert the name because I cannot pronounce her name. going to the cathedral, the Notre Dame Cathedral. This is the only cathedral in all of Luxembourg. Crazy. And it is a Roman Catholic cathedral, originally Jesuit. Here we have a little library. Maybe we'll go into there after. And honestly, everything is like three minutes from each other. So it is very, very nice, very convenient, central. One thing I noticed about the city is that noise pollution is real, guys. We've heard like at least five airplanes within the last hour. We're following the masses. We're following the school group. Is it a school group? Is school even in session now? Okay, we have a pretzel here, a brexel, allegedly. So one store told us that it was the pretzel and then another store told us it wasn't the pretzel we were looking for, but we just have a pretzel here and we're gonna try it out from Fisher. The store right here. We're sharing one. Should I just like bite it and then split it later? That's how it looks. I feel like it tastes like a regular pretzel. They don't salt it as much as they do in New York, I feel. Which is good, I don't like it super salty. It's not actually like warm. It'd be much better warm. Crunchy. I personally think that more doughy pretzels are more my vibe, so this is a little crunchier, but I think it's still okay. It's kind of mid, like nothing special. We're now at the wonderful park. It was just right in front of us as we ate, and I wanna go and try out all of these things because I personally am a kid, so. What is this? It doesn't work. Next. Okay, Dizzy. Dizzy and Sticky. These are all for like little kids. Wait, I need to take out my backpack. I got this under the bag. Careful. No hands. The world is a little funky. Oh, is this one of those things like this? With your friends. Yeah. Okay, that concludes it. I need some mad hand sanitizer. My hand is sticky from the red one. But don't worry, come prepared. We have some ice cream right here. She has already been eaten a bit. One scoop, three euros. She thought mine tasted like toothpaste. I think it's pretty good. It is melting a bit fast. It was rated the best ice cream in town, or so they brand themselves. I don't know, maybe we should try the other one to see. We did end up getting another scoop from Cafe Veneziano. It looks divine. This looks like the same thing, but it's not vanilla. It is lime with buttermilk, so I think it's just like a creamy lime literally tastes like a sorbet and it's really good refreshing these flavors are much better than before 10 out of 10 sherry over here got caramel and caramel nut and i get the first bite she's so nice thanks there's so much richness and depth to the flavor this place wins i think this is the best place in luxembourg if you're ever coming here come here We are now at the Point Adolfe, which is the bridge. Let's go check her out. 
so foresty down below, it's wonderful. I'm not sure if this is a park or just simply nature, but I really enjoy it. The views are immaculate, and there's also another bridge right across the corner over there, peeking out if you can see that. And there's also the castle right over here, or some sort of castle, which we are going to walk to. I'll put in some footage. the city it is very small but quaint charming and I think we covered a lot of ground my favorite part is the nature here and how high and low the city is which is probably Sherry's least favorite part but that's okay thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it there's hair in my mouth now make sure to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one